Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Brand 5 Garage. This one, I'm gonna try to get this truck into here. Now that my, my dad and my brother, these trucks are no longer here. We're gonna get this jalopy back into this garage, this jalopy into this jalopy, and we're gonna try to get it done. I have a new deadline that I'm thinking of. Um, it's not gonna be my big car show because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have that, but it's gonna be, we'll talk about it later. Um, stay tuned. Hi guys welcome back other than like a youtube short i totally forgot to uh video the car show we decided to get up when the sun came up and get to the car show i was exhausted and had a blast but i was tired and i just totally forgot to film cars so that's on me i'll get you guys back one of these days Let's talk about what we're gonna do in this episode okay so you can tell there's low mater um there's my new daily driver i just picked up and there's my old daily driver that i just sold Needed four doors for the kiddo. Anyways, back to low meter. I need to get um, nose off this side of thing out of the way. Uh, we gotta move it over and then bring it straight back into my shop where there's nothing in here um, to get working on it. I need to get the tranny mounted, so that's gonna kind of be the goal of this episode. Hopefully that this I get it done this week and I can have this posted for you guys on Friday. It's currently Sunday, we will see. I'm standing inside because it's kind of windy out and it kind of muffles the noise on the camera. So anyways, we're gonna try to get low meter over in. Um, we'll talk about a bunch of other stuff later in this episode um, of where this truck may or may not be, hopefully in a month. Um, we're just gonna pull it in. I do have to fully weld everything out. I kind of want to finish that interior, but I need to finish that train cross member mount because I don't want to have to jack the truck up to get to it. So we'll get it in, we'll get working on it. I'll keep you guys updated throughout the episode of what I'm doing. Okay guys, so you guys saw me push this thing all the way in here. Looking mean sitting in the garage. So instead of using plate, I think, for this training cross member like I've been talking about, I think I'm just gonna use some like two inch square tubing or one and a half by one and a half inch square tubing. I think I have some thicker stuff behind my old truck, so back over there. So I think I'll just, this is just kind of an example of what I had laying around. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use that, I think. And my idea, we'll see if it works out, is to use my, uh, Saw right there, do cut, 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 you know, and then fold it. So similar to what this is right here. Um, obviously on a smaller scale, that was for the wagon I built in the last episode. So that's, I think gonna be the plan. We're gonna get after it. Okay, guys, so you kind of saw it time lapse, and then I turned the time lapse off because for like the 18th time, I forgot to charge my phone. So, what I did here, these welds aren't really great. They are going to hold, though. Hopefully, we'll see. Got pretty good metal penetration. So, I basically made little slits in the metal all the way down to this bottom part of the square, similar to this guy. I'll show you guys here once I get it straightened back out. <clears throat> It's kind of tough. Anyway, so this piece is essentially what I did. I did it in time lapse. I probably should have just slowed it down and show you guys. So little slits like that, and then you just bend it, and it bends. And then I welded the sides here, sides here, the top there, and then the sides there. I'll take a like an 80 grit uh, grinding wheel to it, make it a little smoother. Go from there. This is going to go under the transmission. And then we're going to build a little pedestal off here to mount the trans. This will weld to the frame, or I'll build a plate, and the plate will bolt to the frame. Having issues, however, the frame's got like a little hump in it that's not letting the slate flush. So this is what I'm working on. We're going to get this in today. I'm over this trans cross member already. Um, it's a pain in the butt, but I'm going to get it in, and then we can work on something cool. 
Okay guys, show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing here for this transmission cross member. Um, trusty faithful hockey pucks, right? So this is, the tranny's here, right where my hand is. So this is gonna go through this metal pedestal, through this hockey puck, which might need to be ground out a little more. So get that in there like this, and this screws, this happens to be a bolt I found laying around my shop, I actually had two of them, perfect length. I promise I didn't go to Home Depot and get them. Um, but this runs right into the uh, transmission where that hole is that I've showed you guys over there. I'll show you in a sec. And then this, so this will be driver side, so it'll sit kind of angled like this. And this will run under it, and I'll build uh, just out of some like flat bar or something. I'll build a bracing up to it so it holds it sturdy. Um, and then I'll box it all in and make it look mediocre at best. So I'll explain to you guys a little more over at the truck what's going on. Okay, so... Over here, we got that one kind of installed. So it goes metal, hockey puck, bolt through the both of them. And then that piece that I made that I showed you guys a few minutes ago is going to come up and under this, uh, weld to the frame, and then hold it sturdy. So to get the tranny out, all I have to do is take that bolt out. Hopefully I can get myself enough room to, that I can get the bolt all the way out um, <coughs> to come out of that cross -member. So yeah, so this is just the mock-up stage, trying to get it in the spot I want it, and then I'll run that under, and I'll build the bracing between the two, and then mounting it to the frame is gonna be a little tough, because I'd like to like super triangulate it in, because obviously this is weight-bearing, and, and losing a transmission would probably not be very good. Also, as you'll notice, this is way off-center. Um, the way the this three by three piece of one by three uh, square tubing actually fits perfect. However, the whole super offset on the trans, so I just had to make it make it work like on this. So yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. We'll get this one in and then I'll try to lay this guy under it. Um, and then build bracing up. Uh, this is pretty thick walled stuff. So I'm hoping it'll hold. If not, we'll just drag our transmission down the ground. Okay guys, kind of hard to tell, but that is in. So you can see where the ground for the the welders connected right there. There's a little gap right where my finger is that I have to fill or put some more metal over there and kind of brace that in. I think I'm gonna do when I have a chance. Uh, I kind of fully welded out while it's in there. Getting it out is gonna be tough. I mean like real tough. But that is something I've been wanting to get done forever since I started this project. I knew that was gonna be a pain in the butt. It was gonna take forever to do, but guys, it's done. So. Moving on, thank goodness, we're gonna go do some fun stuff now. Um, maybe not, I don't know yet. So I kinda wanna get the floors in, start with the sheet metal. I gotta fully weld out all the stuff back here. So I think I'm gonna start on that right now. Uh, try to get this bed fully welded out. I think I'm gonna leave these little 90s in here just cause I got an idea to hide them. But uh, for now, they're good bracing. They're not all super even. They're just, they were initially just tacked in there for structure, but hey, they work. So. I'll go through, fully weld this out, try to get it fully welded out tonight. Um, I gotta clean some of the rusty welds up to, you know, cause it sat outside. So I gotta kind of clean that stuff up and make it weldable. So I'm gonna go through, do that with the welding, um, with the metal wheel I got, and then I will keep welding. Okay guys, you guys saw it. I got pretty much the back half of this thing welded up. I got to come in through here and weld some of this stuff up. But sometimes you just get tired of welding 
little rinky dink things that don't really want to weld. So moving into the cab, I think I'm going to focus my attention tomorrow morning. Got a nice light in here uh, on cleaning up the rust from sitting out in the rain. Final welding all this stuff in and then trying to get those floor pans in so that I can get those in. And then I can cut where I need to to get the uh, like steering shaft through or the steering column. And then the clutch rod that I think I'm going to do. And then figuring something out for a uh, throttle cable. Um, but yeah, we'll get after that tomorrow probably. Um, and then I got a couple days of work, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to get after it here now that I'm back out in the garage. Um, as you can tell, this wasn't rusty before. And then it uh, sat outside while my dad's truck's parked in here um, and got some surface rust on it. So I got to clean that up before that gets like to be corrosive rust. Um, same with there. Didn't rust here. I think it's because it's under the dash, but other areas that got wet kind of rusted pretty good over there too, if you can tell. Um, so I'm going to hit that, hit it with this. I'm going to try to fully weld out the things that aren't fully welded out, um, at least on the top side, and then I'll climb under it at another time and uh, zing those bad boys in from the bottom since I don't have a lot of leg room here. I only got, you know, like maybe a foot. Um, and then the other plan of attack. So the other issue that I'm going to have is if you can tell this beam right here of pretty thick sturdy steel is directly in the way of where the drive shaft connects to the transmission. So I'm going to have to make a tunnel here. Um, I'm going to obviously have to brace this in with something a little more sturdy than that stuff. So I'm going to end up cutting it probably here and here and then prior to that we'll build a little tunnel with some kind of metal uh weld that bad boy in and then we'll have to cut some of this out as well as some of the floor um i don't know if i'll get to that on this episode but i will get to cleaning the metal and hopefully welding breathing in some chemicals from the burn of the weld slash whatever other chemicals I got in there and <laughs> anyways give you guys a quick update so you guys saw me welding on it I got pretty much all the upper and then the sides of all the floor structure welded in I might change up this cross piece just because it's pretty square and the truck's round and I would like for it to kind of have a round theme it's still smoldering right there um, anyway, so I think I'm going to start working on cutting this out. I got to brace this up with some decently strong metal. I th I'm going to just do it because that's the safe thing to do. Uh, brace it prior to cutting it. I'm thinking the cab's going to want to do this taco this way. So I'll put a, probably a piece, just weld a piece there. I might go up and over and I might just leave it um, for future so it just stays under the trans tunnel. Um, and then we'll cut this out. And I think I pretty much got to cut all along here. So what that's going to require me to do is build more bracing under the cab. Um, I'd really like to leave some of the top of this seat bucket structure thingamabobber here. Um, so that the trans tunnels, it looks factory-ish. Obviously it's going to have a big lump in the middle. These trucks did, but whatever. I just don't want to cut that because that's extra bracing. And it will help keep it semi-square. So I might weld a piece up here or my finger up here across there and then across there to there and then we'll start cutting after that that might be in the next episode however because i'm kind of running out of time on this one okay after looking at this um i think what i'm going to do is brace it from here to here here to here same thing on the other side um with whatever i can find i don't have a lot of scrap metal laying around so i might just have to wait to do that i'll give a look around we'll see what we got but i think that's gonna be the plan and then where this comes down to here i'm gonna weld across there over uh this doohickey my bobber thing with my jinger um and then i can start cutting into this just more bracing the better i just don't want to risk breaking it so i'm also going to run a piece along here just for that I, i'll cut off eventually once i get it all braced in with the trans tunnel
so I got that cut out right there. I'm probably going to end up having to cut a little bit out of here and then um, building that support up and around the trans or the for the drive line. Uh, the reason I'm doing this, if you don't know how rear wheel drive cars work, which if you're watching this, you're probably a car guy, but some people aren't. Maybe they just are entertained. The drive line has to go through there and connect to the rear end there on the other side of this beam. So this circle thing thingamabobber. Um, and to get there, the cab being as low as it is and the motor being as high as it is is causing this issue. I'm actually kind of excited to do this. I've always wanted to build one of these. So uh, I'm not really that mad about it, I guess you could say. The other issue I'm running into is I didn't remember this frame brace here that goes across from the inside of the frame. So I might have to replace that with some tubing. Either go probably under the, maybe just run one here to here just to stiffen up the frame a little bit. Obviously I don't want the frame to tweak or bend. This is gonna crab walk so bad as it is just the way I did everything. Um, but maybe I can tweak it back to semi-normal. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this portion of this episode. Okay guys, that'll probably be it for this one. Uh, just remember to like and subscribe. I wanna keep doing this, but I need more subscribers. So make sure you subscribe. Next goal is 500 and we will have a giveaway at 500 subscribers. Um, it'd be a pretty good one. I think my wife and my 11 month old are going to sponsor it. So remember to hit that subscribe button, play these videos. You don't have to watch them. Just play them. I don't care. Uh, yeah. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're making some progress on the subscriptions, but I have like 160 something. Um, uh, hopefully by the time this video is, you know, through when I get to my next video, we can get up to like 200 goal. Short term goal is 500. Okay. Make that happen. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe. Uh, you can like, you can comment, comment. I'll answer questions. Ask. If you want to know? Just ask. Um, like I've said before, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm a car guy, not a car builder. I want to be a car builder. So this is my learning project. Um, I got a couple builds lined up for you guys. Like I said, like those builds lined up, uh, could be anything. I have three or four cars that need work i have some other stuff that needs work we can do a full build out next but i gotta keep i need my subscription guys so hit that subscribe button i'm done begging just hit it you can hit the little bell ding a bobber thing and then it pops up when i post a new video which is either friday or saturdays um but yeah once again thanks again for all you guys support i appreciate it uh trucks come along great we're gonna keep building on it um the thumbnail is gonna be of that you guys saw is of my dad's buddy's truck my buddy too, I guess. Doug, appreciate you coming over, taking a picture next to my truck. Kind of cool seeing the same body styles next to each other. His is a 55 first series pickup. This is obviously a 50. However, they were pretty similar um, throughout. So his truck's 100. I mean, the worst part on his truck is 50 times better than the best part on my truck. So beautiful truck. Appreciate you. Um, but yeah, that'll be it. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe. That's all.